Uh, originally from Amsterdam, ladies and gentlemen, please uh, put your hands together for the very funny Roger Bach! Yeah. Go for your host! Very good! Guys, it's good to be back in New York City. I'm, I live in Amsterdam. Um, and uh, you know how I knew I was back in New York City? The other day I crossed the street in Brooklyn. I kicked a bottle that was full of pee. It <laughs> fell over on the street and I was like... <laughs> Back, baby. <laughs> uh, guys, I'm a, a comedian. I'm an actor. Uh, I've actually started to do uh, paid acting work now, which is great. Uh, after years of just telling people, I'm an actor, really. <laughs> um, and uh, I've been looking for stuff, you know, like that, that challenges my, my creative comfort zone, basically, you know, that, that um, forces me to step out. Uh, that comfort zone, and uh, it took a long time, but I got one recently. I, I did a production at the Dutch National Opera, and they asked me to shave my beard mm -hmm. to play a Nazi. <laughs> I was like, sure, let's do it. <laughs> on, let's go. Uh, and I thought back to the last, you know, when when I when I shaved my beard, it was three years ago, and it was my wife's birthday, mm -hmm. and it was a lot longer back then. So I was like, you know what? Be nice, you know. Let's clean it up for her. But like, real quick, guys. Like, you, so you have a handsome beard. You have a very good beard. You enjoy shaving your beard? You do not. When was the last time you had no beard at all? <laughs> very good. Seven years. All right. See anyone else here? Yeah. You, oh, you said you enjoy shaving your beard? Yeah. Trader. Oh. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> It's, you know, like it was a lot longer back then, so I figured, you know, I'll do a trim. Why not? Clean it up. But then I did that thing where you take off too much off of one side, and like, oh, fuck. <laughs> and so, you know, went to the other side, but you overcompensate, you take off too much there, and I would go back and forth and back and forth. Before I knew it, I was down to a stubble. I don't have enough beard to justify a stubble. I'm not Jason Statham, you know. <laughs> beard up to my eyeballs. Really. It hurt when you blink. But, um, so I was like, you know what? I know what to do. I'll do a clean line. You know, one of those 90s R&B, like pencil bands. Like the dudes from Black Street. I was like, cool. I was like, let's do that. I did it. It looked 90s R&B. But in the worst possible way. It wasn't so much Black Street as it was Snow. Do you remember Snow? The game? It's fucking awful. It was terrible. Uh, so I was like, you know what? You gotta take it all off. I have one more card to play, right? Leave just the mustache. <laughs> There's two men in this world who should never have just a mustache. Me and Michael Sarah. <laughs> I was shocked how much I looked like any police sketch of a pedophile. <laughs> I, growing up, I wasn't really, you know, one of the cool kids. Uh, you know, you look at me now, you're like, what? <laughs> you're right. I mean, I'm cool as fuck. Uh, I took a lot of work, a lot of, you know, listening to hip hop, Black Street, you know, R&B, learned from them. But, <laughs> why? Like, this can't be true. Uh, this guy from Amsterdam? We have TV over there. Uh, but, uh, you know, I love playing with dolls. I'll admit it. I love playing with toy animals. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you guys about the, the, my, my best birthday gift I ever got. It was six, for my sixth birthday, my mom, my mother, bought me a toy horse. Right? This wasn't just any horse. This was a Barbie horse. <laughs> It was a dope-ass horse, it was dope -ass horse. <laughs> in detail. So it had pink saddles, uh, it had a pink saddle on his back, it had pink skirts around its hooves. It had, a, it had a mane that flowed in the wind, not that plasticky bullshit that's attached to it. <laughs> this is a premium fucking horse. <laughs> and all four of this horse's legs moved separately. <laughs> Lit as fuck. <laughs> so you could make this horse Trot. 
You can make this horse gallop in slow motion. You can make this horse fucking fly if you had the imagination for it, like I did. So one day I was bringing a toy to school day, right? And I'm pacing around in my room and I'm thinking, what am I going to take? What am I going to take? This is, this is an, an, an important opportunity to share something of yourself with your peers, right? To show them who you really are. I mean, if there's. Oh, we were in class together. She knows it's coming. You know, I thought, I don't, I don't want to mess this up. Like, you know, if there's one group of people who enjoy a genuine, you know, personal gesture, six and seven year olds. Right? So, I'm pacing around and thinking, like, I can't mess this up. And then it hits me. I said, Roger, it's simple. It's so simple. Why not bring this baller ass horse with you to school? Everyone will love you for it. And if you're trying to be popular and you are trying to be popular, this is the move. So the next day rolls around. I get up early. I have a good breakfast. I say, so long, mother. I walk out. Horsey under my arm, chest puffed up, walking to school with the confident gait of Kanye West. <laughs> I get to school, I push open the door, and as soon as I do, there's this older kid from all the way across the hall who clocks me as he yells out, Ha! Look, everybody, Roger's got a horsey! He's so gay! Aww. Thank you. <laughs> and I just stood there. Horsey under my arm. <laughs> Single tear rolling down my boyish cheek. <laughs> I couldn't think why he said that. I thought this was cool. You know what took me so long to realize all these years is that on this day, on Bring Your Toy to School Day, Roger got his first hater. <laughs> and you know what they say? Haters no hate. So shine on with that horsey, young. Thank you guys, my name is Roger Bach. Thank you. 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 Thank you.